pull this forward a bit. And down. There we go. Uh, where's my channel? Where's my channel? Where's my channel? <coughs> Test one, two. Test one, two. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. All right, try that again. Oh, Jesus. All right, try that again. Okay, there we go. I don't know why, I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I, I don't think it's my microphone connection, but I don't know. Maybe I just need a new... Um, XLR cable thingy. I don't know. Um, and maybe it's the icicle. I don't know. Anyway. Alright, so um, normally I don't stream on during the week at all because I gotta work. Um, in fact, I just got home like, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes ago, something like that, maybe. It's, it's seven, 10 after 7 right now. Anyway, but I wanted to stream tonight because they have this new um, content for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. One of the settings, okay, so from what I read, not from what I read, but what I saw on the YouTube video, um, they added a darker night mode, basically, that you can set. You can set to where it can be at night, but you can have it where it's like pitch black night. So that seemed really, really interesting and really cool. I keep I keep looking at my picture here. I should look at the camera because that's where you guys are. Mm. So that's one thing they added, which was really cool. It it looked amazing it, on the on the trailer, the YouTube um, trailer for the deal. It showed it like okay, here's nighttime and it's dark. You could turn it where it's basically super dark. I was like, oh, okay, I'm playing that because that's really cool. Um, and then another thing was, um, something with drones, something about, uh, I know one of the things was if you shoot an enemy drone, it falls straight down because before it would like go poof and it would like go careening off into the distance. And then I guess the idea was like, well, now you got to go try to find where the drone landed so you can pick up the parts from it. So that was a thing. And then something about, something about, um, the sound of the drone, like it can't, something about they, they, they changed some limitations on when and where the drone hears you and stuff like that. Um, so I, I don't know, whatever that's about, I'm, I'm not sure, but that seemed kind of cool. Like, okay, cool, whatever. Um, sorry, I'm just putting away some of these emails. I went ahead and picked up Shadow of War because I have Shadow of Mordor, the first game, but I never finished it. And I had that on PS3. So I was like, okay, well, I want to restart. Turn that down. I want to restart the game and play it all the way through on my PS4. I never restarted the game, but I went ahead and got the Shadow of War as well. Um, and it was free, so of course I'm going to pick that up. I don't think I downloaded it, though. Um, and one other email that I have in here that I still have in here is... Assassin's Creed Valhalla Gold Edition. I got that my I got that pre-order email. That comes out tomorrow. I thought it was coming out today, which I'm kind of glad that it didn't come out today because I kind of wanted to play this first and then play some Valhalla. Uh, and then the other email I have there that I am keeping in my email is um my order confirmation for my new iPhone. So that's gonna be kind of cool. I waited three, there, three years this time to upgrade instead of just two. Um, so the other thing they added was, so some stuff with the drone, where how far away it can hear you and stuff like that. Another thing they added was, I never even realized this was a thing, but if you throw a grenade, your guy just throws the grenade. Well, they added it where you can hold the button down. They call it cooking the grenade. I keep looking over here. I need to look there. Call it cooking the grenade. The idea of like, you. I think you even get a timer that's like three... To, okay, now I'm going to throw it. And then one, and it explodes in the midair, and the guys can't try to run away from the grenade blast, which is kind of cool. Another thing they added was, um, oh, you can have Terminators running around in the game. Like, they'll just randomly show up. 
that might be a little difficult, but I kind of want to add that. Oh, and then also resistance fighters as well. Um, I'm looking to, to do that. That's going to be kind of cool. The Terminator thing... Man, I don't know, because the Terminators are freaking scary. Because you can't... You have to use that one gun to take them out. I mean, you can damage them, but you have to use that one gun to hit them in the chest and actually take them out. Pardon me while I drink my V8. As part of my... I don't want to call it a diet, but as far as my new way of eating stuff, I'm like, well, when I get home in the evenings, I'm done eating for the day. But a lot of times, I'm still kind of hungry. Like, I'm, I'd am i like to have a little something. So, that, you know, a V8 is great. I usually drink the smaller cans, but um, I figured tonight I'll have one of the bigger ones. But these are great because uh, it's only 60... Well, let me wipe this one up. It's only 60 calories. Now, it does have sodium, but this one is actually the low-sodium version. Um, and it does have some carbs. I guess it does have a little bit of sugar in there. Well, I think what it is is it has sugars, but it's related to the carrots that are in the drink. Because added sugars are zero. There are no added sugars. But it does have 10 grams of total sugars. But like I say, that's probably from carrots... Maybe the beets as well. I'm not really sure. But there's no actual, like, sugar, sugar added. So I feel like, well, this is kind of a good sort of... I hate to even call it a snack because it's a liquid. It's not, like, kind of a snack. But for me, this works pretty well to... Man, give me something so I'm not, like, super starving when I get home at, at night, you know. And so far, it seems to be working pretty well. <clears throat> I used to hate tomatoes and tomato juice, and now I'm like, no, tomatoes are pretty good. I still don't care for tomatoes by themselves, though. Um, I never understood where somebody could take a tomato and, like, bite into it like an apple. I'm like, oh, hell no, that's gross. That's disgusting. And even that, I only really like Roma tomatoes. Regular tomatoes, I'm not a big fan of. I, I They're okay if they're, like, sliced up in a hamburger, which I haven't had that in forever. Or, like, sliced up in a, or chopped up in a, t uh, in a salad. That's pretty good. But yeah, I'd rather have a aroma tomato. So one other thing that they added to the game was... Oh, what was some of the other things? The big thing was that you can now do the raid without teammates. You can go... Well, I guess you can use your AI teammates, but you can go to the Golem Island and go fight stuff there on your own. That's really cool. So here's... When I got to this settings here, I thought, well, let me start streaming first, and then I'll go to settings. So this says, your squad leader can use the world parameters to change the composition of the world and allow you to experience live events again. World parameters. Oh, here we go. Look at that drone presence. See, you can change it to reduce. That's kind of cool. Um, I like that you can take, take the Azrael drones completely out. That's pretty cool. And even the helicopter, that's kind of cool. I think I'd want all this stuff on regular, though. At least for these. This stuff here. Um, see, you'd have drones in missions, but in camps and in the wild, I'd rather have them in there. This one... Uh, I could see where somebody would want them in there, but I, I kind of like them. And same thing with helicopters. This is the only one that I might turn off, just because it's sometimes a little bit annoying. Uh... And then this is like only Aurora stuff, so here's like, I kind of want this one. I kind of want to add this. Resistance, um, oh, this locks Azure Patrol's patrol frequency to none. I think I just want to add Terminators. Okay, apply. Oh, and then it's got to reload. I kind of, I don't really want, I'm not going to, I'm not going to redo Terminator missions or anything, but I kind of want Terminators in the world. I think that might be really kind of, well, it's going to make things harder, right? Because you'll go into a camp and it's like, oh shit, they have Terminators. So, which is going to be interesting too, because the Terminators will kill the bad guys. The Terminators don't mess around. They don't, they're not like on the bad guy's side. They're on their own side. 
and they will kill the bad guys as well so it's going to be an interesting that's going to be kind of interesting to see so let's change we're changing that first um that's pretty cool that they do something like that you're like wow that's just something i don't know how they changed that to be a thing i'm like man how did they even do that how did they i mean i guess they can bring back the terminators and just don't have it be the event i guess that's how Okay, now I got the Terminator missions, that's fine. But I want to go um, back to the settings. Come on. I wish they would add more skills, that'd be something kind of cool to see. So let's go back here, and here we go, settings. Uh, ghost experience, I think I already changed that up before. I think that was already a thing. Here we go, settings. Okay. Syringes heal injuries. That's already. I, I obviously I don't want to take that off. Darkest night. Here we go, you guys. We're changing that to on. Yeah. Because I want it to be really, really dark. <clears throat> and all the rest of this, I think, is fine. So that's all that stuff is good. All right. Next thing over. Interface. Um, what's new? All the rest of this is fine. Oh, here we go. Interaction shader. Hide, show or hide the shader on an. Oh, that's interesting. Oh wow, that's crazy because that means that that's that would make it really hard to see items in the game. I don't want that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, assist area. Oh yeah, I don't want. I don't want. I think that's fine how it is. Uh, I guess that's it. Everything else is, is normal. Everything else, like, there's no other new settings, so I guess that's it. Okay. Back. Um, and I already, I think this is what they had from before, right? Yeah, this is from before. You can change the difficulty of enemies and all that. So I think all that's fine. I think we're good to go. Um. Uh. Yeah, and then I've got, um, here's my Terminator weapon. Uh, oh wait, no, do I not have it anymore? Oh, I don't have the Terminator weapon anymore. I gotta make one. Or, it's not this one, is it? No, 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 no. No, I don't have it. I need to make it. Um, I need to go ahead and make it. Uh, so I actually need to go to... Shop. Normally I would go to the bivouac, but I don't need a bivouac. I just need to go to the shop, so. Let's just go to the shop. Alright. So I need to go and get a blueprint and make, have her make me a weapon from the blueprint. Which is going to be this one. Build weapons. What's cool is the build weapons thing will build it according what to you what you have, like what you. gear level you are. I think it's down at the bottom, isn't it? Uh, I don't always think it was this one, but I guess it's not. Where's my... The music is horrible. I'm so sick of that. It's so dumb. Because it's like hairband stuff, and it's terrible. Uh, I guess it's an SMG, then. Not an LMG, so I guess it's a uh, it's an SMG, I guess. Oh, I need to have something. I need to have a movie rolling over here so that it doesn't do its thing here. Well, let me get a movie going here. So let's go to downloaded movies. And we'll just play, uh, we'll play some Winter Soldier. Volume is off. Yeah. Like I say, that's just so that the, my computer doesn't go to sleep, because I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to keep this up in case I need to see the chat room or something. Uh, okay, the weapon's not here either. I know it's not a sniper. It's not a, a, a D, DMR. Oh, it is. Well, yeah, here we go. It's this one. And it only has that setting. 
Like, it, it's never going to have a better setting or whatever than that. So, okay. Uh, and let's check the stuff on it real quick. Um... Oh, here we go. And also, let's, uh, let's mark it as favorite so I don't get rid of it. And let's go to this. Uh, I don't think there's any other... Yeah, it's either the standard or the, or the compensator, so... I go with that. And the site, I think I don't think you can change the site, can you? Oh, you've got the closed site or the future or the open? Yeah, this one. Okay. That's all we can do. That's the only thing... That's the only setting we can do. Alright, so here's what I'm curious about. Let's go to the island. Can we just go there, or do we have to... Can we fat... Ooh, look! Look! That's Sector 2. I wanted, I'd rather go to Sector 1 first, but I guess I don't have Sector 1... Okay, so here's the thing. When I did the raid before, I only did the first two... Bosses? I guess you'd call them bosses, right? I only did the first two. Um, oh, I guess this is the only place you can go. Here we go. Hey, Grey Wolf 43 what's going on? Uh, no, I wasn't looking for a gun. I was, um, I was, I was making, um, from the blueprint, I was making the Terminator weapon, the, the, the assault rifle for the not assault rifle. It's a it's a DMR, I think, but the gun for the Terminator. Because um, I turned Terminators on. Grey Wolf. I, I don't know if you saw that. This is the only reason I'm playing tonight is because they had a, um, an update, some really cool stuff. One of the things you can do is go to go to the Gullum Island without a raid. You can just go there by yourself. Another thing was you can do Darkest Night. Like the nighttime is even darker. And you can add Terminators back on if you want. And you can even do the Terminator missions. I don't know if you can get... I don't. Well, no, I guess you can't get all the different stuff. But you can get the Terminator weapon. If you do that first mission, it'll let you do that. So in case you don't have the weapon. Um, but yeah, the Terminator gun... It's okay. It does 3% more to drones. But I have a Coblin weapon that does 30% more to drones. So don't really even need the Terminator weapon except to kill Terminators, because you can't kill them. You can you can damage them all day, but they won't actually die uh, until unless you've got that weapon. But okay, so this is exciting because Golem Island is like there's a lot of scary stuff here. The enemies are tougher and all that kind of stuff. So oh wait, did I not? Wait. Yeah, show the stuff. Okay, here we go. Okay. Um, I have no idea what I want to do here because I don't think that there's a mission per se. Um, oh, wait, but look, there is. Hang on. Here we go. Look, there's gear here. There's gear over here. I don't... Well, yeah, no, I don't have that headset. I don't think. No, no, it wouldn't be listed if I had it, I guess, right? Well, let's go here first, I guess. Let's see what we've got here. Um, and what was the other stuff? There was some other stuff they added. Oh, the... Uh, oh, here's another thing. Look at the wheel now. Look at the freaking wheel. Oh, and you can also... Oh, that's the other thing. You can do bullet throw. You, you basically take a shell and throw it as a, a distraction. Um, I need to put more items in here, though. Hang on. I just remembered that, that they added this. This is really cool. So I want to put... Um, all this stuff is okay. I think I would like to put a grenade here. Let's do... Uh, oh, no, you can't put a grenade here. I can put... Oh, no, I can. Yeah, I can. Here we go. That's Mark two. Let's do a Mark one. The idea being that uh, once I run out of Mark ones, I can put Mark twos. Where's my Mark one grenade? Oh, pfft. it's already right here. There's Mark One. So let's put. Um, 
I don't know what I want to put. I don't ever use the rations for anything. They're cool, but I just never use them for anything. Do I want an EMP grenade, maybe? Oh, maybe I should do the breach torch. Diversionary lure I don't really need. I got that bullet thing now. Uh, C4, maybe. EMP grenade's great, but really only against drones. Or, well, actually, I guess I could use it on Terminators, right? Uh... Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and then this might only be... Yeah, this... No, no, this gives me everything. Never mind. I got my sink shot drone, but I don't think I ever really... I don't really use that now that I've got my peeps. And the binoculars are great, but I really never use those. Um, Intel grenade I don't need because I've got the Intel rifle thing with my class. The... Uh, whatchamacallit class. Um... Honestly, I'm going to put the grenade launcher, I think. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, now, when you bring up your wheel, you got quite a bit more stuff here, which is fantastic. Um, and we're going over there. Yeah, I guess... Oh, let me pull up my drone real quick. Because here's another thing that's really cool about this island now, is that there's all these question marks everywhere that I never really got before when I was here, because I was here with three other people and, you know, I didn't have a lot of time to really explore. You were just in the middle of this mission and you didn't want to mess up because, you know, you're you're playing with other people that are kind of depending on you in a way. So, um, so yeah, it'd be really cool to kind of explore this island as well. Because like I say before, you couldn't go here unless you were in a raid. Which, that's fine. I mean, that's the point, right? It's it's a raid. That's the idea. But I love the idea that they opened this up to single player. Because, honestly, the problem is, I, I have a couple friends that play this game. Well, actually, I got one friend that plays it. And then I have a friend of that friend that plays it. And then another friend with whom we would play Wildlands, but she didn't get into the she didn't get into this game at all. She didn't care for it, I think. So it was like, well, the odds of actually having my friends do a raid with me were kinda slim and none. Uh, um so the idea that they made this where a single player can go in here, I'm just super, super excited and excited for that. Yeah, this is where you're supposed to cross here. Oh, what was that? It scared me. This is something I'm forgetting about this too, is that the raid is difficult. Um, I don't know how much more difficult these guys are going to be, but there's definitely a lot of them. Ooh, there's another one right there. Another bad guy thing right there. Man, there's a lot of bad guys through here. Alright, let's do Let's go to this. Now I just wish that they would put the Terminator as a mission in here, because I want to get the Terminator, uh, the, um, the, um, camouflage and stuff, the, the cloaking thing. I want to get that. Because I have that for Wildlands, and it looks great. It's really cool looking. Uh, but I don't have it for this. Okay, that helped. Homeboy right here, and there's I another there. dude. Let's target this guy. Two down. And a bunch more to go. Oh, there's a dude here. I could go ahead and take him out, I guess. Okay. Uh... There's a tower there, but not really anybody I can hit. I can hit a lot of these guys, but I don't want them all coming after me. Although sometimes that's a lot of fun, but 
not right now. Okay, now how do I want to get down there? Ooh, there's a bag there, right there. Gotta get that. Well, might be able to get in, but uh, let's go around. Reloading. Yeah, that Terminator rifle is is cool, but it doesn't do that. It doesn't do as much damage as some of the other rifles, and and really, it's it's just for the Terminator. Is really all it's for. Like, you can do some damage to other stuff with it, but it's really kind of specialized. I got that, dude. Uh, let's just make. Oh, I didn't want to go down there, but oh well. Oh, hey, look at that! I didn't even hurt, get hurt. Wow, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and switch back. There's a case over here somewhere. Let's grab it if we can. Don't think there's an entrance to the from behind here. Is what it is. Yeah, let's go this way. <laughs> let's go back across this way. Okay. There's a shithead over there. I love that they talk like that. It's so great. That's the thing about this game that I probably will never get into is the um, the PvP stuff. There. I just, I'm not big into PvP. Um, I've never been that good at it. That's obviously one reason. Like that certainly keeps you from doing that if you're not good at it. Uh, I don't think I'm that horrible at it. I think it's just I just never got into it. Therefore, I just never got any good at it. Okay, got the VHS tape. That's what I like to call it because it has VHS in its description. Um, I guess that's a light that's above me there. Let's go this way. This is so cool because it's like I I've been to this area before, but it went really really quickly because I was you know fighting and dying and whatever you know. Ooh, there's a case over here, right there that I want. Uh, but yeah, so there was a, I was here, but I've been here before, but, you know, I was fighting for my life, and I was with a group of people, so it's like, in a way, you couldn't really enjoy it, if you will, I don't know if that makes sense. Like, for me, this is why a lot of times I really like just playing on my own, or if I'm playing with somebody, I want it to be somebody that I'm really good friends with, you know, that I know somewhat, uh, because otherwise it's not really that fun to... Like, you're so concentrated on, I don't want to mess up because I don't want to disappoint these people that I'm playing with. Um, that if you're playing with a friend, you don't feel that kind of pressure as much. Okay, what did I pick up? Oh, the, the glasses. Okay, hang on. We gotta look at the glasses real quick, just cause. Like I say, this is really kind of cool because it's like... It's like, a, it's like playing a new level, is what it feels like. Uh, well, where's the glasses I just picked up? Oh, it's these right here. Yeah, those look silly. I don't like to do sunglasses on them because I think they look kind of goofy. Although I had the, the Sarah Connor glasses, sunglasses, and those actually are pretty cool. Nothing in this area. Oh, look at that. They got uh, a bunch of meat and stuff here. I found with these uh, wolves, you should, if you can, go for a headshot. Wait, what is that square right there? Oh, it's a node. Uh, I don't know. If, <laughs> here's the thing. I don't know if that's new or if that's part of the raid. I really don't know, because I've, I've done the raid, I think we did it twice. I want to say we did it on two different days, but I don't remember now. But it's been so long that I don't remember anything about it. Uh-oh, that 
Okay, I was gonna see the body. Oh, okay. shot goes lead. Uh, nothing to report on my side, pal. Okay. Oh, we got the radio guy right here. The mortar launcher saw something, apparently. I don't know how that works with the mortar launcher. I mean, I know how it works with the other drone that has the um, the cannons on it. It will just start firing at you. I don't know what this one does. How is it supposed to see you or not see you? And I could blow it up, but mm -mm, no, I'm going to just deactivate it. Uh, let's see if there's anything in here. I don't know if I need any of these weapons or anything in here, or ammo, or whatever. Mm, no. Alright. Switch back to this. Let's go over here. Reload. Oh, I remember this. I can't get over there unless I parachute or something. Um, Maneuvering to the target. Only to engage, Ghost Lead. Ready, Ghost Lead. Not unlocked, boss. Dodge, moving in. Step here. You get that other dude that's over there as well. This one right here. And you get that one as well. Can I deselect? Oops, and then select. Let me get in position. Let's see if I can get all three of those guys. Oh man, now I got this guy coming back around over here. Reloading. I love that sync shot. I love being able to have my uh, AI teammates back. I didn't realize I missed it as much <clears throat> until I started playing with the, the AI. I was like, oh, okay. I do miss this a lot. Okay. Mm, I, need to go over the, I need to go over the bridge regardless, so <clears throat> let me just go ahead and go over the bridge. I think this part, when I was playing it before, I ended up just like, somehow I was able to parachute across. Uh oh. There's no dead body. How did you, you didn't find a dead body? Get out of here. That's the one. Getting in position. Moving to position. Come on. Oh, that didn't get the other ones that are over there, though. Still two more dudes right there. Well, they're coming out to play, so... One more. Oh, he's gonna come out this door right here, I'll bet. Here we go, ready? Got him. That's basically all the bad guys now, except for these two uh, emplacements here. Yeah, I'm not sure what that little thing right there, that node is. Maybe that's the mission? I I'm not really sure. Because, again, it's been a while since I've been here. Okay. Uh, case right here. Nope. Over here. Open, open, open. Okay. Ooh, wait a minute. This shows that there's more bad guys right here. Or maybe it's, it's over there by the truck. There's some bad guys, I guess. Deactivate. Yeah, 
And there's some kind of bad guy over here by this truck. here and take this uh, turret out. There we go. This one we could have destroyed, but I don't like to destroy them if I don't have to. Like, eh, it's not needed. That's not necessary. Alright. Let's drop down. Uh, we'll check out this node in a second, but first I want to get some of these items that dropped because this might actually be something that's higher than 250. Nope, 250. Um, because I'm on the, the island here, the item level, the gear score on some of these things might be going up. Uh, yeah, see that one's 250, so that's maxed. Let's check this uh, deal here. Normally I wouldn't be like, eh, I don't really, don't have to open this chest right now, but you know what, I will on this one, because you never know. Let's open that up. 250, same thing, that's fine. Alright, let's check out this node and see what's the deal here. I don't know if it's going to be like, they're going to have you doing mission stuff, I'm not really sure. What am I supposed to do with this node? Uh. I don't remember what this node is for. I think it's part of the, I think it's the mission stuff. I think it's to do with the raid and everything. But the thing is, if that's the case, then I guess I gotta go over here. I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember how to do the raid missions. I don't remember. Maybe just the island is accessible, but you can't do the actual missions. Maybe that's what it is. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess let's go over here next. Yeah, I'm really not sure what the deal is. Um, I get the feeling that it's probably a mission related thing, but like I said, I'm not really sure what mission you're supposed to, or how you start the missions, or if it even matters. I think what it is is that the island is open, but not the missions. Which means, oh boy, if they're firing on something, I'll bet it's a Terminator. I'll bet, yeah, hear the music? Yeah, they're firing at a Terminator. I guess this is okay to pause right in the middle. Normally, if you're in a raid, you can't do this. Ah, crap, run. Oh, and, and a drone is going overhead, great.
least this weapon does work on uh, humans as well. The problem is now the Terminator is on my ass big time. Reload, dude. What are you doing? weapon to, to fight this guy. I thought I had a second one. Ow, oh, dang it, I'm down. Luckily, I have teammates that can revive me. Although, I don't know if they can because the Terminator is on their butt as well as my own butt. Where's the Terminator, you guys? Oh, he's right there. Jeez Louise. You're all set. Man, he knows where to, he knows who to shoot, doesn't he? Doing something wrong. Okay. Pause for a second. Ah. There we go. Pause for a second. Can deal damage to the Terminator's weak point. Okay, so I also have the um, other term. I don't know if it's a. I don't know if it damages Terminators, but I do have the other gun, the uh, rocket launcher thing. But I don't think that's. I don't think that's specifically for Terminators, but maybe it is. I don't know. I thought I had a better Terminator gun than this. Let me go to my weapons here. Let me go over here real quick. Um, no, but you know what? That is the only Terminator weapon. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, no, that's the only one. Ooh, there's a Quantum? Oh, oh, this is for the raid. Oh, right. Now I can get this gun. Yeah, no, this is what I was thinking of. Uh, yeah, it's it's... It's funny because it's like this is exactly this. It's the same thing. Uh, but yeah, the only... Um, look at this one. Oh, that's right. That's the other thing they they added. I forgot. They added... Um, they added 10 more ranks to all the different classes. Oh, my God. Oh, look at this. The Cerebus. Destroy Cerebus and Threat Critical. Oh, that's the mission. Right. Okay. That's for a code. Uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's the only weapon that for the Terminator is that one. Do I have, like, the correct... I mean, I can switch out... Oops. I can switch out the the thing on it here instead of the closed sight. I can do an open sight. I don't know if I'm gonna switch to that, but I don't think that really does much difference. Reload. Oh no! First of all, switch weapon. Oh, that's right. That's what it was. Got him. 
Jeez Louise. Yeah, I don't know if I want Terminators or not, because the Terminators are actually really, really difficult to kill. Um, I mean, that's the idea, of course, right? But still. I don't know if I want to have Terminators into my game or not. We'll have to see. Grab all their crap here. Yeah, I don't know if that... I don't know how it... So it said that, like, that one weapon was um, a reward for doing one of the Terminator missions, but I'm like, well... Or not Terminator mission, sorry, the raid, one of the raid missions, but I'm thinking, well, can I not do the raid missions, though, unless I'm on a raid, I assume? Like, can you do, can you do a raid by yourself? I don't guess you can, right? Um, like, so this is Project Titan. Oh, yes, here we go. You can only do, yeah. So you've got the three missions here. Well, wait, this is... I guess these are... Oh, these are the three levels of, of raids you can do. That's what it is. I, I remember now that it said that there's... You can actually change your... your um, how How tough you want the raids to be. So you can do, you can get to the island, you just can't get to the raid stuff. Um, I was also gonna do this. So here's Sharpshooter, I wanna see the details here. So normally it's just 10 levels, but they added another 10. So now, 11, uh, well 11 doesn't really do anything. You get some cool gloves at that point. That's cool. You get some DMR parts. That's cool. You get a shirt. That's cool. Whatever Commissar is. Oh, look at that. Okay, that might be really kind of cool to get. Oh, and then you get this helmet. And then you get that M14 Assault. Okay. We've got something that uh, I think we want to try to achieve here. Um... Oh, it won't let me add the thing right now. Where do I... Is it here? And then... Why is it not letting me add this to my thing? Uh, it's not letting me add it to my... Um, before you could add it, you could pin it. Like... How do, well, okay, so well, how do I get to 11? Guys, how do I level up? How do I level up my ranks to 11? Um, what am I missing here? Details. How do I raise? What am I missing here? I mean, I, I I've got way a whole bunch of skill points, but I can't use them because I'm I'm I've got everything maxed out. So how do I do? Um, how do I how do I level my sharpshooter? Uh, oh, here we go. Here's oh, here we go. Uh, f uh, kill twenty more enemies on Gollum Island. Oh, well, there's one. I got to kill twenty more enemies. Oh man, I got to kill enemies with an SNR or DMR while hip firing. Well, that's not too difficult, I guess. Helicopter pilot. Now that doesn't say he has to be flying the helicopter though. So, okay, let's pin it. Oh. Pin it. Oh, I already got it pinned, I guess. Do I? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I need to kill enemies without doing this. I need to just fire. Well, I guess I can do this. Yeah. So, basically, if I fire once 
and then hold, it'll just do that. Oh man, I'm hearing more gunfire over here. If it's more Terminators, I might have to turn that back off again. Because like I said, I don't know if I want that after all. That's, that's... The Terminators are fun. It's fire. great. Hold up. Got bad guys nearby. Yeah, it's another Terminator. Yeah, it's another Terminator. We got an enemy chopper overhead. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn the Terminators off, I think, because... I mean, the Terminators are a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong, but... I'm already on Golem Island and getting my butt kicked. And that Terminator is, like, right there. bad guys, of course. Okay, I almost got him down. I have to admit, they are a lot less scarier than they were initially. When you first come across these things, man, they were so dang scary. Okay, helicopter pilot. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's right. These are the big scary helicopters. Got him either way. Did it? Yeah. Yeah, I might have to take the Terminators back off of this because... I mean, it doesn't make the game impossible or anything, but it just makes it maybe a little too difficult. Well, in the meantime, let's go... Let's go toward this location over here. There's only 500 meters left to go. Yeah, I might have to take the Terminators back off, because they can be fun, but they're kind of annoying when you're trying to get other stuff done. That's, like, that's not as fun. And so far, it's not like, oh, there's, there's, you know, they're just kind of, there's some of them, they're, they're, they're here and there. Like, no, they're, like, everywhere. So far, I've been coming across, too, like, I've been coming across too many of them already, I feel like. Kill an, uh, well, I need to kill enemies with the SNR, well, SMR and GMR. Lights. That's pretty easy. Oh, this is that behemoth. Uh, Eyes on a gun turret. No, this isn't the one that you kill. Uh, what is it? No, I don't think it is. There's an area where you're killing a bunch of bad guys, and it's not a behemoth. It's another like big, crazy titan that you're, you're taking out. This looks like that area, but maybe it isn't. No, maybe it is. I don't. It's been forever 
since I've been here, so I can't remember now. This looks kind of like that area. I think it is. I think they just replaced it with Behemoth so that you have something big to kill in this area if you're not on the actual raid mission. I think that's the deal. Seems to be. I was about to say, why am I not seeing any of the bad guys? It says they're right here. Some of them may be underground. There's a dude. There's a lot of bad guys in this facility. Oh my gosh, look at all these bad guys. Holy shnikes. Yeah, I think this, if you're on the raid... This is where there's a bunch of bad guys right here. Yeah, that's what that is. Okay, so let's switch to my sniper rifle. Unfortunately, what we have to do here. Let's see, there's a wolf going this way. No, I'm gonna have to just look to the front of the building here, or the front of the entrance here. Okay, so let's do that. That challenge is actually not too difficult at all. That actually was really easy. Oh, geez, look at that. You see all them light guys light up? switch that gun out this thing is somewhat quiet I guess but not not what I'm wanting here switch the cobblin okay oops nope get down what's what's finding me what's seeing me over here oh it's uh it's that turret right there. Well, you know what? We're going to make quick work of this. Unfortunately, it's going to explode, but that's okay. Can't shoot that light. Let's grab, uh, let's grab this gold item here. Oh boy, he's calling reinforcements. Ooh, look at that, pantalones. Um, well, we need to just find a helicopter pilot right now. Stay on target here. You know what? Let's do uh, Oh, 
Oh, I didn't do the cooking thing. Cook grenade. Oh, look at that. It exploded up in the air. That was really cool. I really love that cooking thing. That's really kind of cool. Oh, and I just realized, hang on. You can kill a helicopter pilot here. Ooh, I got him. Oh, but it didn't count. It, it, I guess he wasn't a helicopter pilot. I, did, I killed the guy inside the helicopter, but not the pilot. Hang on, is there a way? Maybe I can do this. Hang on, let me do this. Go over here. Ah, you shot my drone, you jerk. That means I'm probably not gonna, yeah, I can't put out another drone just yet now. All right, hang on. I wanna identify the pilot. Okay, and uh, now we're good. All right, let's go out the window here. Well, where do you go? Oh, there he goes. Oh, well, there he is. There he is right there. Okay. Here we go. Ah, come on. I'm gonna have to probably just kill him. Like, I'm gonna have to take out a pilot that's already on the ground. I don't think I'm gonna be able to take out this pilot. I don't know where he's, he's firing on something over there. Oh, I'll bet he's firing on a Terminator. Jeez Louise. Stinking Terminators, man. Like I say, they're cool. I mean, it's a cool addition. Like, it's just, they're freaking scary and everything. But in this, it's like, yeah, no, it's going to get kind of annoying. Switch the sniper. I might be able to get him through here. Let's see. Oop, hang on. Got him! Sweet. Now I just gotta kill six more enemies and I'll be at sharpshooter level 11. Cool. 
Well, like I said, the problem is I'm sure there's a Terminator over here because it seems like they were already shooting at something. Can I go over the... Oh, there's no ledge here. those lights I can't take out. Nope. Well, I was going to say, it looks like they were fire firing on a Terminator, but maybe not. Yeah, let's just see if we can't go over here. Man, look at all the lights down there. Oh my gosh, look how bright it is. Oh. I guess there's a Terminator over there, but... Solid kill. We don't want the tank to see us. Can I target these guys over here? It'll target them or not. I might have to go down hey, through there. Stop trying to see me. Quit it. I'm not sure if that's a, the, the tank that's trying to see me or something else. Oh, it's the. I see what it is. It's that turret right there. Right there. That's what it's trying to target me right there. Alright. Orders inbound. Ooh, ranked up. Level eleven. Shark shooter eleven. Yeah. Oh jeez. Oh no! Oh wow, I'm still falling. Uh I still falling? I don't know. If they might not be able to get to me. Hey, but at least I got to sharpshoot level 11 or rank 11. Hmm. Oh, now it says kill enemies from more than 200 meters in Gullum Island's heliport. That's really kind of cool, man. Kill eight enemies without missing a shot in their satellite dish. Oh, wow. I really like that the challenges are Golem Island. Yeah, I might have to just give up here because I don't think they can get to me. Yeah, let me go ahead and give up. Oh man, this is really cool. I really, uh, I really like that they've got it set up this way. Um, man, the only thing is that you're not actually on the raid. But you can go to the island and do all the raid stuff. And for me, well, I do want to do a, an actual raid so that I can get, like there's a couple of those weapons that you can only get from completing raid missions. Um, but otherwise, there's stuff here on the island that is raid related that you can pick up. So that's kind of cool. I, I got excited for a second there because I thought Alex Albusu was playing this game, but he's playing uh, The Division 2. Yeah, so here we go. Um, what time is it? It's 8 o'clock. Uh, you know what? Let's go, let's go to uh, Bivouac real quick. Can I go to this one? Yeah. Let's go to this bivouac, and I think I might go ahead and quit for tonight. Um, I'm really excited to play this now. Oh my gosh. I mean, I was excited before. I'm always excited to play this game. Oh, look at this one. See, I've not been here. Or or maybe I have, but I, just, I certainly don't remember it. Let's 
turn the point the other way. Um, see, I've been to some of these locations, but I don't remember them because it's been so long since I did a raid, for one. And for two, when I was here, it was all over the place. Oh, look at this. They didn't give me access to my vehicles here. Which makes sense, because you can't have your vehicle here. Uh, yeah, so that's really making me go like that. It's cool. Okay, I don't need that. And then shop. Okay. Oh, man. I'm so excited about this, you guys. Um... And I don't think I had... No, I don't I need to replace anything there. I could buy some of the stuff here. Most of I've got all these colors and stuff, which are... Some of them are pretty cool. Um, that's just creepy looking. I don't think I want to buy anything just yet. Um, did they add anything here? No. Oh! Emblems? What do the emblems do? I don't even know. I haven't bought one of these in forever. Let's just buy one. And then... Uh, let's do this one as well. Actually, I think I can buy all of them. Uh, I can just buy all of them. There we go. There's no more emotes, so that's done. So the only thing I don't have is the appearances. Everything else I've, I've purchased now. And, well, in the vehicles. Um, yeah, what are the... What are the I, I'm trying to remember what the emblems do. Uh, emblems is over here uh, in this section here that I never use. Uh... Wait a minute. Where are the emblems? Where do, they, where do you even mess with the emblems at? I don't even know that. Because uh, here's your title, right? I got that. And I got the, the thing here. Is this? Oh, these are the emblems. Oh, okay. Oh, geez. I didn't see any of these. Look at this. Oh, this is all for ghost. Oh, it's ghost war mission stuff. I don't care. I honestly do not care. And this one's Gollum Island. Open chests while the raid is active. Huh, interesting. Oh, it's... I, I assume it's like you you pull, you pull get them from chests, but you had, the raid has to be active. Okay, right. Okay, that's fine. I like doing... Uh, which one was I using? Sharpshooter Elite? Uh... Now I'm trying to remember which one did I even have on here. Like, which one was I using? Um, probably need to do Sharpshooter Elite because I think that one's cool. But yeah, I'm gonna have to turn Terminators off because that's oh, wait no not Terminator uh, not that one it was um. Uh, which one did I have on here before? Oh, I think it was Echelon. I think... No? Was it? I don't remember now. Jeez Louise. Oh, no, it was this one. It was Ghost. Because to me, that one's... You're a ghost. I like that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm remembering emblems now. You don't ever even really mess with them that much. Or I, I never have. Alright, well, let's go to the shop and sell some of this stuff off real quick. And then, yeah, I think I'll probably quit for the night. Because I still need to... It's so weird, like... When I was only going into the office on Thursdays, um, I was like, well, I'll just do my walks every day in the morning. And then I could take a shower after I get back from my walk. Well, now that I'm going back to work, I can't walk in the mornings because I get up, I get to get, I have to get up at 530 in the morning in order to get to work by 730. Because um, it takes me, 
I don't know, say 45 minutes to get ready. And then if I'm out the door by, say, 6.20, I can get to work by 7.30. Um, so I can't go and do my walks in the morning because I have to get up at 4 a.m. or something, and I'm not doing that. And I can't really do them when I get home because, especially now with daylight savings time, on or off? I think it's back on again. By the time I get home, it's dark, so I can't be doing my walks then. So I thought, well, you know what? I'll walk while I'm at work, which sounds bad, but no, I'm basically taking my lunch break at 4 take 45 minutes or so to walk around uh, the office a couple times and I do about that's about two and a half miles it's, it's pretty pretty big area there um, but then that way when I come back from my walk even though I'm kind of sweaty and I'm in a t-shirt because I'm bringing a change of clothes it's like it still works okay because by the time I come back from my walk we've only got like 15 minutes left so I can more or less just about be like okay yeah, I'm ready to go home now um, but because of that, I take a shower at night, which is, it's just so weird. I'm still getting used to that. I've, I've always taken a shower in the morning, but now I'm taking showers at night, so it's just kind of weird. So it's sell, sell, uh, sell, and sell. And we'll keep the Terminator gun, but, uh... And all this stuff we can sell, all this, all of the pants. No. Just sell all that. And I could do mass sell on all of this stuff, but it's like, well, no, first of all, I don't want to sell all of it. Uh, and plus, the only parts, the only ones I really would want to sell would be like the amethyst and stuff to get, because they, because it gives you quite a bit of money for that. Uh. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. But yeah, oh, I wasn't. I was gonna look this up real quick while we're at it here. Okay, so here's. Oh wow, look. So now assault. Everything has ten more levels to it. So you get that weapon. Ooh, I think I've. I want to say I've already got those judge gloves, but maybe not. Oh man. And then you also get the AK-47, which I think I already... Or AK-47 Assault, right? Uh, okay, so that's Assault class. And what about Panther? Yeah, all this is all this is kill enemies on Gollum Island. Oh, that, that's something about that's really, really cool. I love it. Ooh, flayed chest piece. So apparently it's... It, the, the items you're getting is all related to your class, so that's pretty cool. And then you get the Scorpion EVO 3 Tactical. Which is basically like the EVO... EV... I think it actually is EV03, I think. Um, which I already have, but it's... Slightly variant. Slight variant on that, I guess. Yeah, so these are all Field Medic type uh, items. But this one you get the MPX Tactical. That's cool. And then engineer. Engineer is basically the guy that deals with drones and stuff. I'm just wondering what some of this stuff looks like. Oh, look at that helmet thing. That looks pretty cool. MK48 saw. Long range, high power, tougher to handle. Huh, okay. Esh oh, Echelon. That's the one I really need to be checking out. I'm wondering what those items look like. Oh, it looks like it's... What's this silencer top and bottom and stuff? I don't think I have that. A2 shorty. Oh, nice. Shorter range. Okay, and then Pathfinder. Pathfinder is pretty cool. I haven't I haven't messed with it too much. I, I still for me it's the shine uh, the um, in, um, sharpshooter that's my favorite. Okay, hang on, we gotta look at something here. Hang on. Yeah, all that stuff's pretty cool, but we gotta go to this. Hang on, we gotta. I assume you can look at the different items, right? Like if I go here and I go uh, face mask. Mm, yeah, look, here's the Pioneer helmet. 
that looks kind of dumb. These look really stupid. The heli helmet is cool, but you also kind of go like, you're not flying a helicopter. Why would you even use that? That's interesting. The judge mask, look at that. I don't know. This would look better if it weren't for such small holes and if they weren't red. And this part here looks kind of dumb. And the whole eyeballs look like boobs. So that all looks dumb. Oh, but look at this one. Come on, you guys. I got to get that. That's Echelon rank 20. Look at that. Come on. Can you change the color? No, I guess not. Uh, ooh, that one's pretty cool. That's Ghost War Mission. That's kind of cool, but meh. That's kind of cool. See, I'm not crazy about these helmets because the eyes just look dumb. Uh, oh, and there's the golem mask. That's field medic. That's pretty cool. I have to, I have to admit, I like that pretty well. And then these are... Oh, yeah, there's for sharp... Oh, come on, you guys. Look at the sharpshooter helmet. Okay, let's look at... Uh, the different tops and stuff here too. Where's the oh there's the silencer top. Oh that's kinda neat. That's kinda cool looking I guess. Um Where's the Echelon one? This looks really cool. Oh man, come on, that looks really cool. Where's the uh or rather which one is the one for the Echelon. Uh, that's Pathfinder. What does that say? Oh, Ghost War Mission. That's for rank 14. Oh, that's the one for Echelon. Right there, yeah. And then... Um, yeah, I've already got all these. Where's... Uh, pants pantalones yeah I thought I had some golem pants but I don't guess I do I think I have the golem it's like a jacket thing I've got that one oh, look at these ones oh those look pretty cool man look at that and that's for echelon rank 16 oh, those are kind of cool that's sh oh that's sharp shirt. look at that that's pretty cool. And then Judge Pants. Those are... Those... Something about those look really cool. Something about the Judge stuff looks really cool. Architect Pants. Oh, that's for Engineer. Right? Some of these you go like... They're not really that much different. Uh, and then... Are there different kind of gloves? I don't remember. Yeah, here we go. Judge Gloves. Something about those look really cool. Wolf Extreme. Extreme Cold Weather. Oh, that's cool. That's Echelon. Some of the Echelon stuff, I have to admit, looks really, really cool. Okay. And I don't really use any vests. Oh, look at the Judge Plate. That's... I, that's kind of cool, but I'm not crazy about the, I'm not crazy about the shoulders. All right, and here's Pathfinder. That's kind of cool. Uh, there's Echelon 18. That's that's not bad. Uh, unlock and complete the retro engineering mission. I get. Do you have to do both of those things? I guess. Huh. Pioneer vest. That's Pathfinder. That's. Eh. Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. Destroy any Titan drone on Gollum Island. Explore missile site ruins in Gollum Island province. This is basically like the other coat that I have, except it's got the the things on the top. Yeah, some of the vests are pretty cool, and some of them I'm like, yeah, I don't really care. Oh, and these are the only two that I don't have. Oh, this is I can buy it from her shop. I guess I just haven't bought it yet. And that's a Titan thing, which, hey, those helmets are just dumb looking. Anyway, okay, well, cool. Uh, it gives me some idea of what's in store backpack. 
Uh, no, there's only one of them, but that's four. Yeah. And I don't really use the backpacks that much either. Night vision, I think I've got all of these, yeah. I think I've got all these knives as well. Uh, no, actually, there's a few that I don't have. Huh. <laughs> and I already looked at face masks, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, glasses? Oh, look at the aviators. That's kind of cool. Yeah, the ones that I got were... Where they at? Oh, here we go. Sarah Connor got it. These, are, these here... Uh, I have a pair of sunglasses. Oh, no, they're in the car. Um, they're like the other Sarah Connor glasses. These are the ones like she wore at the end of the first Terminator movie. I like the glasses that she wore in... I like these a lot uh, because these are Ray-Bans. And then the ones that she wore on Terminator 2 the ones that have like the little they have like the little side things like this and they're kind of like great looking you know like they have holes in them like this I'm not sure what brand those are but I bought some that were similar to those they were meant to be like they weren't like replicas necessarily but they were just that same style and they were only like 16 bucks they were like super cheap and man they're in good shape and they uh they seem like they're they're really nice for the price especially you know but uh all right well i think i'll stop here oh what a shot well i would apologize but it is getting late anyway well you guys i'm super excited about playing this stuff man oh man um i'm excited that well the raid you, you do have to have other players with you but i'm i'm excited to be able to just go to the raid to be able to go here is is really cool um, because now it's like, well, I want to just explore everything too. I want to. Oh, there's a chest right there. Um, I kind of just want to explore everything as well, you know. Um, all these question marks everywhere. I haven't explored any of those. Well, and also, this is as far as I got. I think this was the. Yeah, I think this was the um, the flyer titan thing that I fought against here and that's as far as we got uh, as a team of four we never got past that so we never got to any of this other stuff that's over here so unfortunately though I'm still not going to be able to see that stuff unless I actually start a raid but or at least I assume so right like you wouldn't be able to fight a titan unless you're doing the raid I assume assume that's how that works anyway whatever oh I didn't realize I, I switched to echelon hang on let me let me switch back before I forget, because I'm going to be like, what the heck? Why is this on the wrong thing? Uh, oh, no, it's under um, pro, uh, tactics. Switch back to sharpshooter. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to play this more. Uh, I can't wait. The Dark Dark Knight is really cool. Cooking grenades is pretty cool. Um... The fact that there's 10 more ranks to each class, because it's like, well, that means that I have to go back to each class and rank all that stuff up, which is going to be difficult, because some of those things, you actually do have to do a raid, or at least you have to, a lot of them are on Golem Island. I'm excited for it, you guys. But the only bad thing is, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla comes out tomorrow. I might play. I might stream a little bit of that tomorrow as well, and I'm definitely going to be streaming that Friday. Maybe I'll stream some of this Saturday, you know, or or vice versa, Friday then Saturday. I'm not sure, but uh, I mean, we'll see. Uh, it's exciting, man. That and plus, I've been digging Sims 4. I don't know if you guys have been playing Sims 4 much, but I didn't realize that. So I bought that game because I was like. I really miss Sims 1, the very first one. I loved making, building a house, decorating it, changing my Sim up and all that stuff. And I saw Sims 4 and I thought, well, it looks like it's kind of a little bit more back toward that. Because I remember Sims 2, I don't think I ever played 3, but 2 was like a lot of missions. Which I, I was like, no, I just want to build the houses and stuff. But 4, I played it and I was like, well, let me do the... Um, the um, um, the um, tutorial. So I did the tutorial and I was like, well, 
this isn't that fun because my house is already built, my my sim is already built, if you will, if you will. He's already got he's already got a bunch of crap in his house, so it was like, well, there's nothing I really want to sell or like there's nothing I can replace. So I kind of put that game aside, but then I started. I was watching um, somebody made the Seinfeld apartment in Sims, and I was like, oh, okay, that's really cool, and that's what I want to do. Uh, not specifically make the Seinfeld apartment, but so I started playing it again. I didn't realize too that you could go to first person view where you could see what your Sim sees as they're walking around, and I also didn't realize that if you don't do the tutorial, you can build your house however you want. So I've been doing that. And I actually started building my own house, like trying to make it in the game. Obviously my house is, when you're in Sims world, you only have so much money, so you can't really build, I have a three bedroom, one and a half bath. So it's like, you can't build a house that big on that much, on that little of money. So I've, for the most part, I've built my house. I've, I've got a couple of rooms I need to add on. Actually, I need to add this room and then the room that's on the other side of this closet here, my front bedroom. Um, but man, that game is, that game's got me hooked. I, I even went ahead and bought one of the, it's not an expansion, it's um, it's like a game pack. It's like 10 bucks to do, so I could do laundry. Because I was like, well, I want to be able, you know, I have a wash and dryer here. I want to be able to put a wash and dryer in my house in the game. So that worked fine, but the only problem is my sim doesn't have enough money. The washer and dryer are like 500 bucks a piece. So I was like, well, crap, I can't, I can't afford a washer and dryer yet. But, uh, man, that game's got me big time. Plus, I, I still want to go back and finish Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And then after Odyssey, I still have Assassin's Creed Origins that I haven't played yet. So I'd like to get, I'd like to play that. And then I've also got, uh, well, this is not big on my priorities of games I, I do want to play, but the um, Shadows of War, Shadows of Mordor. I would like to play both of those games. and Oh, and then I got another game that a friend of mine gave me. Uh, or no, he didn't give me. He told me about it. I bought it. What am I talking about? He didn't give it to me. Uh, Children of Morta. I've, I've got that. I purchased it a while back. It was on sale for like 20 bucks or something. I still haven't even played that. So, so needless to say, I'm not getting a PS5 because I don't really need one. I got plenty of games right now. And I don't have... If I were to get a PS5, I'd have to end up getting a new TV... Because this one's not 4K. Plus, I'd have to get a new swing arm because whatever 4K TV I get is bigger than this one. And the swing arm I have this connected with is not... It can only hold like to 37 inch, I think. Something like that. So all that together would be $1,000. and I don't have $1,000 just laying around. Uh, so I'm not going to get a PS5 anytime soon. It, it, at the earliest, might be next year sometime. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, for now... Uh, I'm just I, I got plenty of games to play on my PS4 and I'm excited for all of them so um, anywho I'm going to go ahead and log off you guys thanks for stopping by Grey Wolf 43 man thanks for stopping by I appreciate it um, um, if you guys ever have anything you want to chat about or whatever feel free to jump in the chat room or if you want message me through Twitch um, I have links on the Twitch page here for YouTube and Twitter so you can always uh, message me there if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, thanks you guys for stopping by. Uh, I'll probably stream some more tomorrow. Play play a little bit of Valhalla. We'll see. Wednesday and Thursday, I'm going to be too busy. So I'm not going to probably play anything then. But Friday night, I'll definitely stream either some more of this or some Valhalla. And then Saturday, I'll probably do whichever game I didn't do on Friday. So play some more on Saturday. So we'll see. Uh, anyway, all right, you guys, thanks again. I'm going to hit this button now, and then hit this one, and then that one.